We are joined now with our political analysts back here in studio, Dr. Stephen Voss and Trey Watson. Thanks for sticking around here as we dig deeper into election 2022. Yeah, we've taken a look at some of those local races. Now let's take a look at some of those statewide races. We'll start with the 6th Congressional District. Andy Barr facing off against Jeffrey Young. Gentlemen, your thoughts on this race? Oh, look, I've had Democrat consultants tell me that they think this is the greatest failing of the Democratic Party this year to not recruit a better mm -hmm. candidate to run against Andy Barr. Jeff Young is at best a gadfly candidate who's expressed strong support bizarrely for uh, Vladimir Putin and for China. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't, <laughs> Congressman Barr is going to roll uh, and I think the, the, the only question here is the part Congressman Barr will play in the next Congress uh, from his seat on financial services. He's going to be an important player in two of the most important things going on in the country. Uh, oversight of the Fed gives him a, a role to play in, in solving inflation and he has a strong role to play in overseeing uh, federal uh, uh, embargoes and, and, and other uh, uh, regulations being put on on China, being put on Russia, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to to try to curtail those regimes. So, I think the interesting thing in that race is just to see where Congressman Barr goes in this new Congress. Dr. You know, Paxton, for sure, Jeff Young did not have the public support of his party. Mm -hmm. uh, Governor Bashir, uh, the head of the Democratic Party, both came out against him. Now, he did get a lot of name recognition from the opposition from sure. his party. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also, you know, the write-in candidacy of Randy Cravens meant that Democratic voters had two choices, two flavors sure. of Democrat, which g gives them more options and, and does allow the opposition Andy Barr to rise a little bit. I want to get to that Senate race, too. We have longtime Senator Rand Paul facing Charles Booker. He's hoping to make history, of course, in this. Um, this has really been a, a well-talked about race. But do you think it's going to make a difference in this? No, I think it's going to be a huge win for, for Senator Paul. You know, S Charles Booker was kind of a house on fire back in 2020, yeah. uh, almost caught Amy McGrath. I think if that campaign had been another two weeks, he, he may have won that primary. Uh, the atmosphere is different this year. The issues are different. And I, I don't think he ever really got his footing. And you didn't see the national support come in that McGrath got in 2020 mm -hmm. uh, with Democrats pouring uh, hundreds of millions of dollars into races like Amy McGrath, Jamie Harrison in South Carolina. That never came. And you've got to have money if you're going to upset an incumbent. Yeah. Charles Booker's candidacy hit wrong time, wrong place. Uh, right now, the Democrats have hot Senate seats all over the country. They've got resources that they have had to direct to all these battlefields. Um, Kentucky just, as a long shot, was a, a low priority.